Yeah, this worked out. This worked out yeah. well. Oh, sorry. Where? Where? What? Uh, right. Oh, there it Between is. Between those mountains. There we go. Some students have paused their long walk home to rest on the bank of this clear, shallow pond. Above them, a plane makes low and hazy loop de loops. They gaze into the water. Okay. A young man points at a girl who stands alone on the shore. Her dad's in the plane, he murmurs. We stop here every day to see him. He points into the pond, and you realize that the plane is flying under the water. The image in the clouds is its reflection. That's wild. Right? The girl drops to her knees and stretches her hands into the pond. And when her father roars around the loop of the shore, his engines splash mud all over her clothes. Papa! She sobs and lunges for the water. Um. Uh, okay, that's devil. Yeah. That's Zawardo. Yes, Zawardo. Zawardo. Um. Oh, man. It is puzzling, isn't it, Hillary? Oh, no. Oh, boy. Okay. Get her out of there, I feel like devil, like something real bad's gonna happen. But I don't think helping her into the water is gonna go well either. Well, I mean, she might be happier. Yeah, you know what? Go. Go go to your water flying dad. I'm gonna let's yeah, see yeah. that one. Yep. You hold her hand as she steps out onto a slippery rock in the shallows. Wait! Her friends shout. But when the plane banks past she leaps and you push her for good measure splash D did she make it the water clears she did she did she trails white knuckled from her father's tail fin like a windsock and uh, swoops uh, uh. around the far end of the pond but on its way back the plane doesn't turn it's aimed right for the shore Oh, God, it's going to launch her out? The plane ramps straight up past you into the sky. A flash of the girl's wind-squashed face, her father's wild smile, and the wings snap through the treetops, and they're both gone in the clouds. Thank you! <laughs> Oh no, her classmates burst into treats. <laughs> oh no, they were a pinata this whole time. Oh, they were pinatas this whole time. That would be the, the least weird thing about this story. It really would. All right, I'm coming for you, August. Out in Helena. Is there anything? Yeah, there is one. One of our, our things evolved. Yes. Which one? Which one? Which one? Tell me. Uh, okay, it's in a bar. Uh, yeah, tell me a conversation. Tell me a story. Uh, the native Robin Hood who takes back the precious artifacts stolen from his people. Uh, you tell him the story about the vigilantes who hunt grave robbers uh, across the Midwest. Alright. You like yours more, liar. Okay, bye. Well, that's oh, fully evolved now. That's fully, well, let's keep it for this in case it works out. Because that one was thrilling. 
so maybe he wants throwing and we, we could use it, but we'll see. He wants all kinds of stories. Yeah. I was still a kid when Dame started turning my head. Long gams, gleam in her eye, all dolled up, and I was done. I didn't know how to talk to a dame. I was a boy, play acting as a man. I was a boy! But when I indulged in a little liquid courage, I was off to the races. Anyhow, you got any stories that end looking up? I miss those hopeful ones. Uh, none of those. None of those. Nope. Uh, nope. No. Uh, here we go. Yeah. The mink. Leaves a warm feeling in your chest, huh? Family like that was new to me. Never wanted to be a daddy on account of my own. But when Louisa got in the family way, I ain't never been so excited. Got in the family way. But you know, you don't hear that one I anymore. The most is nope. the hopeful ones. Got any of those? Okay, hopeful. Uh, yeah, here we go. Yeah. We can tell them about the girls next time. Well, that one sure makes me smile. Thought I knew what love was. I love my mama. Even my daddy, after a fashion. But once I saw Louisa and the daughter we brought into the world, it's like I'd been blind before. Aww. Anyhow, you got any stories that end looking up? I miss those hopeful ones. Okay, he likes the he likes the hopeful ones. That's funny and scary. That's funny. That's those are funny. both funny. Those are all sad. Those are all sad, yep. Uh, here we go. There we go. Leaves a warm feeling in your chest, huh? Travel didn't mean so much to me when I met Louisa. I stopped reading about faraway places I didn't need to. There was a whole world in her eyes. This guy is a uh, hopeless romantic. Mm -hmm. Some of them story rags, they'd end so sad I'd almost cry. You got any of those? Time for Green Boy. Oh, damn. What? That's my go-to sad story. Yeah, I, sure. Good old Green Boy. Good old Green Boy coming in clutch with the sad. He's got like sad for days. Voice. Just so end? sad. That one's good. Sadness? Yeah, remembering it all makes me sad. All the time me and Louisa wasted fighting. you think that it hurt the most. But remembering her smile, her laugh, that's what tears me up inside. But you tell me, what's the wildest thing you've seen on the roads out here? Anything good and exciting? Also, that's not how I would tell the story. I would, it would be a careful lead up until I went, bam, that boy, he's dead. <laughs> I'm sure he had a name. I don't remember it. Um, what did he want? Oh, exciting. Sure, I don't remember. I was too distracted by Green Boy. <laughs> well, see, that's the that is the beauty of Green Boy. Green Boy just it, it catches your attention. You're there for the whole thing, and then bam, tearjerker ending, the saddest thing in the world, and that's it. Like that that is the beauty of Green Boy. Sure, okay. Um, uh, he I think wanted, he wanted exciting. Yeah, he wanted exciting. The arsonist, that was that was exciting. Yeah, that one is thrilling, yes. My blood's pumping. I yes! The kind I used to like as a boy. Our fate. We could have been happy, me and Louisa, but maybe it wasn't in the cards. Maybe my hand was dealt the first day my daddy came home after a few too many. Well, here's the sun. Gotta get going soon. Okay, he's heading down south. All this talk makes me think about my girl. Before our daughter, I never knew what it was like to have a life depend on mine. Who's that? Once I held my baby girl in my arms, I finally learned my daddy's lesson. What about you? 
What lessons do you learn as your life goes twisting along? Well, I learned the lesson of Green Boy. I learned the lesson of Green Boy. It was a good lesson. I took it to heart. Also, yeah, Loop, you mentioned the dive bar guitar. This sounds this this music sounds like it should be playing in the background of an episode of Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives. Okay, what what do we got? Uh Yeah, we got like a woman in the with the ribbon around her neck. Oh yeah. That was the sad one. Yes. All right, yeah, make a picture about it. Let's head. I think kind of southeast. Yeah. yeah. And then we'll basically follow the road. And then we we could go right down south from there through Wyoming into Utah. Okay. Yeah. And because uh, that works out, we got a big cluster down there. Yep. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. I love it when this shit lines up. Mm-hmm. cut through these mountains. There it is. Oh, out in Billings. things. It is nice that they kind of put park outside of a city where we can get one of our stories like leveled up. Mm -hmm. uh, let's tell a story about Gwen Michette, the richest and most ruthless bootlegger ever. Uh, oh, ah. oh, it's these two. Our very first stories our finally all grown up. Is it? It is all grown up. I'm going to leave it, though, in case uh, they want an exciting uh, story, because that'll boost yeah. them up a lot. Uh, ooh, chapter three, Dahaya. Ooh. Show me your true form. Yes! Oh, that's cool! We persevered. Everyone lost someone, and by the end of it... We all felt like we had lost everything. That's beautiful. Thousands of people covered such a small portion of land. Our people were not used to living in such not, not the not the abuse of indigenous peoples, just the way she looks. Not that's not I, I said that's beautiful at a very inopportune time. <laughs> it's okay, bud. <laughs> And I'm sure I you understood guys, what you were talking I'm, I'm about. I'm sure you guys all know, but I realized it. I'm like, wait a minute. She's talking about how they were all just like kind of relegated to a very small plot of land. And it's really, really sad. And I, that's not the beautiful part. <laughs> this is where we learned how to make fry bread from the rations given to us from the United States Army. Things at Tawildi only got worse as time progressed. And then... We were given permission to return back to our sacred ancestral land. We were told to be grateful for signing such a deal with the U.S. government, but we couldn't help but feel nervous about returning home. Would the land remember us? As great a distance as we were from the four sacred mountains, we never truly did feel separated from the birthplace of first man and first woman. Some swore they could see Tadutsa off in the distance. And sometimes I really could see turquoise radiating from the top of the mountain toward the cushion of the sky. No one could have imagined the journey homeward would be harder. But we had no choice. The holy people were calling us home. Shikis, my friend. Can you tell me a story that looks to the future? I was hope? I was wondering if she was just going to ask for a story or if this whole chapter was her being rightfully angry. I mean, yeah. Okay. Uh, hope. Hope. Happy, happy. No. Um, 
Nope, no, not those. Not those. Oh, uh, here we go. There we go. This is a good happy one. The Dinke are like that too. Strong in the face of adversity. That story brings me hope. Family! We come from a line of warriors. Hell yeah. We have always known how to be resourceful and resilient. From the seeds of corn that we found on our way back home, to the sheep that we heard on the mesa, to staring the colonizers in the face, we pushed forward against the odd. She might be one of my favorite characters in this game. She's she fucking badass. Friend, tell me a funny story. I am sure you hear many on the road. Okay, funny. Uh, <laughs> Not in the Nine of Swords, my dude. Green boy, no. Um. Oh, the bottles. Okay, she. I think she'd appreciate the bottles over the dick singer. Yeah, probably. <laughs> it's good to laugh. Joy. Well. The water was not like the water from Tutsi. When the children played, it was a different type of laughter and movement. We learned how to become reliant on one another and to find pleasure in such small things. Shikis, my friend, can you tell me a story that brings strength to those who hear it? Okay, that's a hopeful one, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh... Oh, the two girls. Okay. Will that, you think that will work? Yeah. Okay. That yeah. is a good story. It pleases me to hear about people taking strength from each other, or from the land, or from themselves. We kept our tradition alive, so we remembered to extend gratitude and compassion. We remembered to celebrate who we are as people, to love and to thank the holy people, and to take care of what is around us. This is what we know as a people, and this is what we have to teach the be like God. Shikas, my friend, I need to laugh. Can you tell me such a story? Yeah, uh, funny. That's creepy. Uh, no. Nope. Uh, oh, this one was funny. Cthulhu box, yep. Cthulhu box is go. funny. That one made me smile. He told it well. Freedom? The sun moves through the sky on an unrestricted path. Oh, what but it has chosen its destination. What does Sheikis mean? It is in sync with nature and knows its destiny. Yet sometimes the most liberated one can be is in the company of another. Oh, my journey has been blessed as I walk this path with you, Shikis, my friend. But so, can you tell me a sad story? Oh, you, sure, we got plenty. You know what it's time for. <laughs> is it time for fucking Green Boy? It's of course it's it is. It's time for Green Boy! <laughs> oh, my heart aches. I will remember this story. See, Green Boy's got it all. One must remember to be strong. Mm -hmm. I know this coming from a long line of survivors. My ancestors did not know this type of sorrow before Hawildi. And each day, I remind myself, do not let it defeat you. You have overcome it. It was a wicked tool that was used against our people. We must not succumb to it. Uh, I I know I know I have other sad stories, but Green Boy's a hard sad story to beat. The sun has risen. It is time for us to part. I must make my journey across the land this way. Huh. Yes. No, I'm, I'm looking at what Loop's saying about uh, oh. the, the term uh, Sikis' uh, term for endearment for older sibling, older cousin, and friend, but all for if they're the same sex as the speaker. So are we a girl skeleton or are we, or are we gender fluid? Ooh, That's... I choose to believe we're gender fluid. Yeah, I'm gonna, I, I think gender fluid makes the most sense to me. I hope I can see you there once more. I have been lucky to share my story with you, Shikis. 
But there's still so much to tell about what happened when we return to the theme that Becca got. Because because she's incredibly like uh, uh, spiritual, so I could have just honestly believed that she doesn't even see my earthly guys. I'm sure she just sees me as the radiating storytelling skeleton that I am. Probably. So. Okay. Oh. Come on. Give you, a story. Come on. I come want, on, Green Boy. I want Green Boy to evolve. Green Boy. Uh, it happened to her daughter's friend. Okay. Nope. A oh. re the restaurant run by alcoholic elephants. I like this. All right. Uh, yeah, that, you know what? I support that one. Oh, that one's maxed out now, too, so we can use that. Yeah. Alright, she's down. Okay, so we'll cut across Idaho. to Idaho and then head down to Utah. Okay, sounds good. Older maternal cousin, specifically. Oh, there's another story over there. That's really specific. I like that a lot. I Yeah, I do too. Okay, what do we got? Tell me a story. There's a commotion Whoa, I wasn't expecting the face to be that close. The crowd parts, and a middle-aged man comes leaping out onto the curb. My daughter had a baby, he shouts. She had a baby girl. Congratulations. In a fit of frantic excitement, he kicks over the <laughs> box, knocks over a bench, and seizes you at random in a bear hug. Somebody call my wife, he shouts over your shoulder. Tell her we're taking the train to Chicago. Uh, celebrate with him. Yeah, the man this can't end badly. Yeah. His feet hit the pavement so hard they throw up puffs of shattered stone. Jesus. Everyone staggers. When he swings around the lamppost, the metal bends like soft clay. Keep celebrating. Keep celebrating. The new grandfather grabs the nearest car and two hands overhead lifts <laughs> down the road. shouts everyone runs indoors the new grandfather seizes your hands and whirls you around so fast that you feel the blood leave your tingling face i've never been happier in my life he shouts but his grip slips before he just react, yeeted me you're tumbling yep. across the roof of the hardware store across the road the man doesn't seem to have noticed he's lost you. He's spinning so fast you can barely see him. As you climb down into the alley and run for the edge of town, you hear him thanking God for his answered prayers over the sound of cracking bricks. All right, that has to be funny. That's got to be funny. Okay. Can I, can I cut through here, or is it just, uh... Oh, just... God damn it. Okay. What do you mean? Oh. Yeah, I, I gotta go get Go back it. down. I gotta go around... Oh, wait. Is that a... No, that's a resource. Oh, but there's a story a little further on into the mountains. Is, is that a... No, this is right here, right? No, no, that's a resource. There's a story... There's another little bouncing... Oh, there it is. I see it. You see it? Okay. Bus to where? The man looks confused by your question. Upon inspection, the tickets in his hand show a stamp and the receipt of sale. But the destination is obscured. Two tickets? 
Man looks at the tickets in his hand as if he hadn't known they were there. Slowly, some comprehension colors his expression. Huh. Somebody came and went. I'm gonna ask him if he's all right. Yeah. Just fine. Just fine, neighbor. Bus will be here soon. He starts to bite with his fingers again. Surely there can't be any nail left to chew. The fool or the wheel of fortune. Let's wait with him. Yeah, I want to see where this goes. His knuckles, one finger at a time, and starts over. When a wren lands nearby and sings a little, you're grateful for the sound. Okay. Okay. I don't... Huh. I can't make hide your hair, like hide your hair of what the hell that story was supposed to be. Nope. Just a weird encounter. Like the psychopath on the bus to Scarlet Hollow. Ugh. That dude. <laughs> I still can't believe that that person is, that character is based on an actual interaction the creators had. I can believe it. It just makes me very sad. It does. No, I can't. I have to get on a train. You're too tall to go through the train tunnel. Well, what if I crawl through it? I don't think we have a crouch option. That's... Come on, where the water tastes like wine. I want to be able to crouch. All right, where am I? I think that's Denver in front of us. Yeah. All right, I guess I had to cut through Wyoming because it was all mountains, so I guess I got to loop around. Okay, there's a... At least there's a car. Maybe we can, we can hitchhike. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's probably a story floating around. Yeah, I'll take a look when we get closer. A little grown up story. Still, I still want a fully evolved grain boy. There's one. There it is. Yep. Come on, grain boy. Come on. Level up that sadness. Oh, it's this kid. It's your favorite boy. Uh. Blotted, wait, uh, through a long stream at the time the sun was blotted out for two days by a giant rooster. H holy shit! Oh, it's the eclipse! Yeah. Uh, great story, kid. Good job, you did it. Thanks! <laughs> I really don't know what it is about that voice that gets me I don't, every time. Every time! I don't know what it is either. Oh, <laughs> uh, use this power wisely, my friend. Oh, 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 get, get yeah. it. Uh, so anyway, Green Boy. So hey, I've got this great story while you drive. It's called Green Boy, and you'll never guess how it ends. <laughs> it does sound like adolescent despair. You're right, Loop. Wow, dropping us off in the middle of nowhere, huh? Okay. Okay, but that's fine. We, you know what? Let's. I can. As long as I'm around the mountains, I'm just gonna head up this way. We're gonna do. Um, what's her name first? I wish I was Dahaya. better. Yeah, Dahaya, Thank you. I wish I'm better at remembering names. Is she in Wyoming? Um. Hey, where is she? Idaho. I have to keep going west. You're right. Oh, wait. Okay, we're well, well we're still in we're... Utah, so we gotta head north anyway. All right, let's. Okay, let's well just... we're closer to August. Yeah, we're gonna go. Yeah. I thought we were facing August. Yeah, but I gotta go around the mountains. Oh, okay. I can't. Uh, I can't just walk over them. Otherwise, that would make sense. Oh, there are 30 foot long skelly legs. I know. Like, I should just be able to hop them, but. Yeah, he's outside Salt Lake. There he is. Nice. Oh, we're going to see his true form now, I think. 
Did we get him up to level three? I think so. Okay. I think there's a. Uh... Yep, there we there go. There it is. Okay, uh, what's the story? The hotel where travelers lie awake while while cursed toddler ghosts throw Satan's own tantrums. Damn. Damn, that thing got nuts. Yeah. He's metal as fuck now. Make a picture out of it. Oh, that's fully evolved now, too. That's all. All right, yeah. good. We got some good fully evolved stories to help us out. Yeah, here we go. Chapter three. I had me oh, he's got a chapter four girl, then. But no livelihood. I tried my hand at my daddy's factory work, but I wasn't up to snuff. For every bottle I filled on the line, I emptied my soul. When the war started, I figured I'd fight for my country. But they wouldn't take me on account of all those years reading. Couldn't see well enough. But the merchant marine, they took me as I am. And then I had everything. So I miss them blood pounding adventure stories. You got any like that? I do. Uh oh, he knows that one and it's fully evolved too, damn it. Uh I mean that was the Confederate ghost is scary, never mind. Those this? are scary and sad. Okay. Those are sad. Uh that's happy. That's happy. Scary. Scary and funny. He wants thrilling. Funny and funny. He wants adventure. He wants thrilling. Oh, he knows Well, I know we've got boy. thrilling on the other side. There's some thrilling stories. Uh, This one. This one was thrilling. We thought it was scary, but it's thrilling. I think it's supposed to be scary. But it's tell the story of the native Robin Hood who takes back the precious artifacts stolen from his people. That's that's clearly evolved into thrilling. Okay. Yeah, vigilante scary. Yep. Okay. Come on, man. What? Can't be true. Sorrow ain't like that. Oh, I'm dumb. I made my choice. We keep falling for the Had same same thing. <laughs> I, I should have stayed with him instead of shipping. That's out. all right. You did. I missed it, Loop. I'm sorry. I tell you, I'd have ended up in this gutter a lot sooner. But you did, I, I, even I repeated Vigilante Scary, but for some reason it didn't click. <laughs> the books that I missed the most is the hopeful ones. Got any of those? I'm a dummy. All right. Boy, do we. Uh, None of those. Oh, we had Pecos Bill. Well, I'm sure he'll ask for another thrilling story. He wants the uh, happy. Yes. Uh, this one. That Water one. Water turned to wine. There we go. I appreciate that you still love me after my my clear, well, uh, sure makes blatant idiocy. brain fart. Yep. It's fine. It happens. My wishes. I don't know if they came true. When I read those rags as a kid, imagine seeing distant shores. That was nothing compared to the real deal. I went further and saw more than any of those riders ever did. But you tell me, what's the wildest thing you've seen on the roads out here? Pecos and Bill. Pecos Bill. Excitement. Pecos Bill. There it is. Pecos Bill. That's the kind of adventure that sticks with you. Yeah. Freedom's tricky on the sea. As mariners, we never had a choice where we went or what we did. But on the sea, I never felt as free from my daddy's eyes or as far away from those fields outside of town. But you tell me, what's the wildest thing you've seen on the roads out here? Anything good and exciting? Uh... Those are funny. Uh... The Eerie. red creature... Oh, uh, the rodeo. Rodeo, yeah, there we go. Ooh, tell another like that and you could ride a good ride. Trust. Thought I trusted Louisa with my heart, with my life. But in too many ports, I learned it's hard to believe in someone who ain't there. So I miss them blood-pounding adventure stories. You got any like that? Okay, he's. You're all about adventure, my friend. Mm hmm. I got news for you, though. I might be getting tapped out. Uh. 
Nope, none of those. So we have the restaurant run by. Yeah, that was funny. That's all sad. Uh, funny, funny. Lots of funny. No. Very funny. No. That one was sad. That one's scary. Yeah. All sad. 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 Scary, scary, sad. Yeah, alright. Uh, funny and scary. Shit. Yes. Hey man, I'm fresh out of adventure stories. Tell the story of the wandering man murdered by... Nah, that, was, that won't do it. Uh... <sighs> okay, let's do, um, let's just get this one out there. Tell the story of the red creature. Okay. Well, fear is cheap. I used to read the scary ones, so I know my fate. I was supposed to be in the cargo hold. Crate of munitions got loose, but I was running late. Oh, no. If I'd been there when the ship got hit, done what I was told, I'd be dead for sure. Oh, okay. Well, that worked out then. Maybe it'd be yeah. better. Oh, no. Oh, uh, no. Here's the sun. Time for me to get going. If you ever find yourself over this way, ask around for me. Okay. I'll have more stories for you about the sea. And the brothers I left behind out there. We're They're gonna have to swap out mind. some thrilling stories. Always mm -hmm. Oop. Sorry, August. Okay. Uh, I think that's the highest campfire way off in the distance. There it is, yeah. Oh, wait, we, we camped. Hold on, one of our things might have evolved. Yeah, oh, there yeah. It is. Come on, Green Boy. Come on, Green Boy! Don't leave me high and dry here. Uh, the Sinner's Church, where in worship of Satan, the congregation sings dirty songs during the service. Ah. Oh, it's the Dick Singers. Has that fully evolved? Yep. Yeah! Alright. Oh, shit, yes. Oh. No, no, I hit the wrong button. Don't let me in, let me in, let me in. Oh, damn it. it took too long. I have, uh, I had the auto walk on because it's easier to control. Alright. Let me in, let me in, let me in. I will tell you a story. There we go. So, Green Boy. <laughs> you think you know the story of Green Boy, but let me tell you, you do not. At the end, I'm going to spoil it right now. At the end, somebody dies of fun. I don't think that's true. No, I, that's, that is not. Well, you know what? This game is about fabricating and making up stories. So, you know what? In my version, he does die of fun. He, he had the most fun ever. He had the most fun ever in, in the grain silo. He literally had the maximum amount of fun one could have in a grain silo. Okay, well then. His name was Ken. And he sure had a can-do attitude. <laughs> Kenny for short. No, fuck you, Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> he was he was Kenuff. It's fine. Well, I can't get too mad at Kenuff. <laughs> The miraculous canteen which provided water for a whole crew. Um, is that the water to wine? Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's or, now fully or cotton pickers. It has grown up. Okay. Okay. She this is this is Dahaya, right? Yes. How many happy stories do we have and how many do we still have left? Ooh, we should probably put on some more happy stories. Uh we haven't told her about the dick singers, though. But that was funny. Oh, that's right. That's right. Um, I don't think we told him about her. Did we tell her about the bats? 
I think we must have. She does ask for funny, and we told her the bottles. So we're going to leave that one. Let's see. What else? What other happy stories? Uh, man who only ate molasses. That was a happy story, I think. Was it? Yeah. Because it started out, he was just like some guy who was sharing molasses with us. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Okay, we'll put that one in. Oh, the decks at the hotel fountain might be good, too. That one, I think, was would be funny, though. I don't know if we told her the the women commuting with wood spirits. Uh, okay, we might have... I think we've told her all of these. I think so, too. Like, uh, when we burn in the presence of true love, the revenge of the passenger pigeon, uh, the bull dyke who captures cruel men to feed to her distant harpy lover... Midnight Ritual Neil Jackson, uh, the harebrained demon playing around with people's dreams up by Bismarck, man who loved his very special horse in the Northwest. The horse that bit me. The horse that bit me. Uh, but is that funny or is that happy? That's a good question. We just don't know. Oh, the hungry couple who got fed from a warehouse near Boise. That's happy. That's probably happy. Yeah. That seems happy to me. Uh... I don't... The singer fading into obscurity, I'm pretty sure, is sad, but let's that's see... That's gotta we, be sad, yeah. Uh, oh, that's happy. Did we ever tell her the talking seagulls? I don't think so. We might have taken that one off by the time we met her. All right, let's let's go with this for now. Ugh, I really love her true form. We meet once again. Shikis, my friend. I am glad. Have you come to hear the final part of my story? I have. About what happened when we returned to Dean Bakia, our homeland? I'm going to go out on a limb and say it's not super happy. Yeah, she probably was, not. Can you tell me a story that looks to the future with hope? Yes. Okay. Happily. Uh, where is our... Where's our, our... There it is. Yeah, we didn't tell her. Nice. The Dinkfe are like that, too. Strong. Oh, look at that. that story oh, third eye wide open. The future? We worried. We weren't sure what the land would look like once we returned. We heard they had placed us at Wilde so they could violate our homelands and break us. But in spite of their examinations... The land has remembered us like an ancient mother. Shikis, my friend, can you tell me a story that brings strength to those who hear it? Okay, another happy. We just put in a couple of happy, so... Yeah, hungry couple. Oh, damn it. Uh, yeah, there we go. Hungry couple. Hmm... What? I do not wish to spend my time dwelling with this particular sadness. Shake us. Huh. That's sad? Okay. We kept our tradition alive. So we remembered to extend gratitude and compassion. We remembered to celebrate who we are as people. To love the land. And to thank the holy people. And to take care of what is around us. This is what we know as a people, and this is what we have to teach the being like I. You have traveled so far. Surely you have exciting stories. Please, tell me one. Okay, I've got exciting. I can do exciting. Mm -hmm. We've got Pecos Bill, we've got the rodeo. This one is not exciting. It's scary. It's scary. Uh, Pecos Bill. There you go. I've learned my lesson. <laughs> you have seen interesting things, Shikis, my friend, and you speak about them very well. Freed up, the sun moves through the sky on an unrestricted path, but it has chosen its destination. It is in sync with nature and knows its destiny. Yet sometimes the most liberated one can be is in the company of another. Oh, my journey has been blessed as I walk this path with you, Shikis, my friend. Aw. Shikis, please tell me a story with a little bit of fear in it. 
something scary. Vigilante scary. I think we just blocked that one off though. No. Oh, we didn't. Vigilante, Vigilante scary. scary. Vigilante scary. Hmm. Some kinds of sadness Wait. must be resisted or it will feed on you and become a tool against you. Vigilante sad? <laughs> Our choices, if we are to oh survive, my God. the only option How many times is this story going to play us? <laughs> we should probably just switch that one out and, <laughs> and not have it anymore. Even in the face of drought, disease, or the encroaching being Laganas in their childish ways. Chickas, my friend, I need to laugh. Can you tell me such a story? On the other hand, though, it is the native Robin Hood recovering lost artifacts from his people, which I think would hit her differently than literally every other character Maybe. in this game. You're right, you're right. I'm going to tell her about the, the, the chatty corpse. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> it's good to laugh. Destruction? They try to destroy the people, our ceremony, and our culture. But we have always been a resilient they brought gunfire, disease, and bad food. But each time they tried to break us, we became stronger forces against their inhumanity and prejudice. Our story doesn't end here. The story is still being told. As long as our language, culture, and traditions are alive and evolving, we are actively telling the story of who we are and where we have come from. But for now, the story of the Wilti is finished with beauty may i walk with beauty before me may i walk with beauty behind me may i walk with beauty above me may i walk with beauty all around me may i walk it is finished in beauty it is finished in beauty that was lovely yeah Okay, so the wiki officially labels it as tragic. All right. Okay. Vigilante sad. Oh, it's the kid! Uh, story about the Thunderbirds who bring storms. Okay, that's the thrilling one, fully evolved. Uh, uh great story. Good job, kid. Thanks! <laughs> All right. Uh. All right. Where are we going? Uh, August is down near Colorado. Colorado. If we head straight down to, uh, I, I don't know where that is in Nevada, but down there. Uh, I think, I think that's close to Vegas. The Ve I think Vegas is a little bit further up, but I could be wrong. No, you, you might be right. That that's, I think that's, that's either Vegas or Carson city. Yeah, maybe. Okay. Um, do we want to look at the artifact we got from Dahaya and see where it'll take us. I think it might take us into New Mexico. That's a good idea. Uh, that's the turquoise pebble, right? Uh, probably, yeah. Shiprock. Shiprock. Where was Shiprock? Where's Shiprock? I don't know. Uh, I mean... Uh, uh, I'm looking it up. In yeah. New Mexico. But it's in New Mexico? Yeah. Oh, wait. Wait, there's a camp here? Wait. Where am I? Oh my god! Oh! Oh, damn! We just found Ray. Hey, Ray. Hey, Ray! That worked out well. Okay. Hey. Well, well howdy, partner. Seems like the desert didn't swallow you up after all. I can't nope. die! Ha 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 ha! This place is changing. You ever see those big clouds rise up over the San Andreas? That's where the ranch was. They say the bombs they were testing turned all that white sand to green glass. Feels like everyone's trying to take their own piece of the frontier and use it for God knows what. All that land, fenced up, shut down. Signs reading, keep out, no trespassing. Did he Turn lose his ranch when they were testing the atomic bomb in the Manhattan Project? Is that what he's implying? That does seem to be what he's implying. 
The longer and farther Poncho and I ride, the more barriers we seem to come across. What good's a cowboy without an open range? But anyway, amigo, what's the most exciting thing you've seen out here on the road? Okay, do I have Thunderbirds? Because that's fully evolved. I think we do. Oh, he, he knows it already. Oh. Okay. Uh, oh, this one's fully evolved, we, and he doesn't know that nice. one. Nice. Yep. You live an exciting life, amigo. Authority. Talking about the people in charge? Well, this desert don't belong to nobody. And no one's got the authority to draw lines in the sand, especially not with steel and asphalt. I bet you've seen some really wild, exciting stuff out there, though. Tell me about it. Okay, he likes thrilling. Uh, well, he's in luck. We got thrilling. These are both scary, and that's Those sad, are both right? scary, yeah. Uh, nope. So that that's sad. Nope. Scary, happy... Uh, that was scary. That's sad, That's apparently. sad. Uh, and happy. happy. Scary, funny. Happy, funny, funny. Funny, yeah. All sad. He doesn't know Grade Boy yet, though. Oh, good. Uh. Thrilling, thrilling. Was this thrilling? The trickster. I think the trickster is thrilling, yeah. Eh, we got time. Let's try it. Yeah. yeah story. Man, I never go bored sharing a campfire with you. Morals? Ain't nothing moral about roping off the open range, locking it down and keeping it off limits to the very folks who live here. I bet you've seen some really wild, exciting stuff out there, though. Tell me about it. Okay. Want to hear about this rodeo I saw once? Da, da, that's sad. I don't think we've told him about the rodeo. I gotta find a rodeo. Uh, that was happy. That was scary. There it is. Yeah. This will probably level him up completely. What a story. Yeah, Man, third eye open. Sharing a campfire with you. My faith? Well, I sure as hell don't have any faith in the folks running this country. They're doing right by themselves, always. And never what's right for the land or for the folks living in it. Ugh. But anyway, you know some funny stories, right? Yeah, I got some great funny uh -huh. ones after that. Yeah, it's funny how some things never change, isn't it? <laughs> you know what? I'm going to tell him something that we it doesn't matter because he's fully awakened anyway. Uh, I don't want to okay. burn a story. So uh, this is probably scary. scary. You trying to scare me? That weak stuff ain't putting a drop of sweat on me. Used to be, you travel all around to drive your cattle from one place to another. Nowadays, I travel all over just to find the work. So, you know any good jokes? Okay, he likes funny and exciting. Uh, here, we'll tell this one because it's sad. save those other stories yeah. for a later time. Who do you think I am? I can tell that tearjerker ain't true. Death. Them bombs they're blowing up. Round where the ranch used to be. I heard that just one can level a whole yep. city. Yeah, this is the Manhattan Project. And gone. Folks turned to ash. Sand turned to glass. <sighs> Gonna lose too much water if I keep going on like that. And the sun's rising too. Time okay. to get my path takes me this way, out across the desert. I'll see you some other time, amigo. 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 Okay. 